Bread and Life Soup Kitchen in bed doesn't just feed the body, it also nourishes the soul. In addition to providing 1,500 meals a day, it also offers its visitors some intangibles. Bread and Life just commissioned Brooklyn artist Mia Ando to create a work of art for its meditation room. I wanted to create a piece that would be non-denominational but appropriate for this space uh, and have a sense of uh, serenity and hope and I think the steel was was a very good one for this because it sort of um, just in its uh, material in, in its materiality it, it suggests strength and permanence. Ando uses fire and acid to create the finish on these 144 pieces. The steel itself comes from Brooklyn but her broader life experience also influences the work. I grew up in a Buddhist temple in Japan. My mom's family are all Buddhist priests so the works, um, the works are very inspired and informed by that experience. Um, my, before they were Buddhist priests, my family uh, made swords in Japan, and so I come from a steel family, and this is um, really kind of a, a unification of my personal sort of beliefs and, and ideas about um, serenity and, and, and meditation. Tony Butler is the executive director of Bread and Life, which provides meals as well as social and legal services to those in need. Great art is not the provenance of wealthy communities. Great art is the provenance of everyone. And so we wanted to put some in here that both reflect kind of the dignity of the folks we serve and to kind of inspire folks to greater things. And for those who come here to Bread and Life, they say with a hectic pace outside, coming here to the meditation room really makes a difference in their day. The artwork is subtle, relaxing. And then you're feeling great once you leave. I'm an architect, was an architect, and the grids pull my life together, you know, and the colors also are the colors of buildings. To me, it's a city, a whole body of life. It seems this work also helps remind all of us of the humanity of art and art lovers. For more details, go to ny1.com. Stephanie Simon, New York One.